Sanmanan Ikamala Mutando. You've already read the title. You know exactly what this video is about. Um, yesterday, <laughs> I was just scrolling through my Twitter as I usually do. I never really comment, seldom retweet, seldom like anything. Um, and one of the people that always pops up on my feed, is it a feed on Twitter? It's a timeline. And one of the people that I usually see on my Twitter feed is Um, um, um Andisa. And she asked the question, you guys, what are you fighting about today on Twitter? <laughs> because she knows. She lives on those streets. She knows the streets very well. And someone responded, girl, we're fighting about 30 seconds. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? What's there to fight about? Clicked on Andisa's profile, scrolled up a little bit, and I found the original tweet. And it reads as such. One day we're going to have to chat about the classism that exists with the 30 seconds playing bunch, thinking they are smarter. Mara, they just had more access. I've been scrolling through these comments and I was like, I don't know why, but I feel like everyone is correct. Each and every single comment, whether it's a rebuttal or whether it's a, a new uh, idea or a new opinion. I'm like, yep, I agree. Either I agree or I disagree a little bit. But if I agree or disagree, I have a backstory as to why I agree or disagree. So I figured I'd poach Twitter's content, put it on here on YouTube because I'm not a, a Twitterette. I don't know what you call people that tweet. Tweeps? Tweeps. Yes. So I was like, oh, I can comment on my YouTube channel and I can possibly comment to whichever comments that I resonate with and kind of react to them. So this is the video. Weird, I know. For those who don't know, I know I have a large Kenyan constituency over here. 30 Seconds is uh, an American and Nigerian. Hi, hi guys. Um, I see that by my analytics, but basically this is 30 Seconds. It is a general knowledge, fast paced board game. Um, you are given clues. I'm trying to open it. Why is it taking so long? You're given a 30 second clock. And there's a board, obviously, as well as. Hang on a sec. Where are these clues? You're kind of shit jenga in this thing. Oh, here, here are the clues because I, I needed to boost them. So you're given a box of cards. Has two sides: yellow side and the blue side. Some people believe that the yellow side is harder than the than the blue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, it depends on the card. Uh, so yeah, you're given. One, two, three, four, five clues on each side. Um, yeah, and you try to give a clue to your mates without mentioning the name of the the name in the clue or translating it or saying it sounds like. It's basically like charades. It's really fun and it has a lot of like South African clues, which is what makes it even more fun. Um, yeah. First comment to react to. Is it a comment on Twitter? It's a reply. I played 30 seconds with my dad, a very educated man, by the way, and he described Capitec Bank as the bank with low equity. None of us got it. And I knew I'll never be in his team. Couldn't he say the bank with long queues? <laughs> I somewhat agree with this comment. I think when you are paired with somebody, you have to set out the situation. Read the room. Give clues that will yield winning results. If you see that your partner is not going to understand what low equity is. Find a different way. Say long cues so that they can get it. Hello? Are you not trying to win? Or are you just trying to show people that, oh, I know the jargon for this field and I'm going to show it off? Because that's not helping you and your team. Stop showing off and just gauge the capacity of your teammate in order for you to move forward in life. Well, on a 30 seconds board. Next reply is actually a picture of last year's tweets and it reads, you ever played 30 seconds against people who've traveled the world together? One reads the card and says, where they pickpocketed you? And then the one answers quickly, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> answer, who did I see in Queer Karaoke in Thailand? And they all answer, Elton John, and burst out laughing. Every answer is a lived experience. That time, your team is struggling with union buildings. I know this one too well. If you put best friends or people that have done life together for a very long time, that's a recipe for a loss already for the other teams. When Camilla and I in one team, it stops being about like general knowledge, but about winning. And our chances of winning get 
just a little bit higher just because we've experienced life together. I remember very well playing 30 seconds with Camilla and the clue was Stockholm and we traveled to Sweden together. And she was like, oh, where the bird flew into a train on our way to Malmo. And the answer is Stockholm. It, that's not a clue that anyone could get, but us. So yeah, this tweet definitely agrees with the original tweet. It can be a little classist because not everybody gets to travel the world, especially not with your best friend and like do a Euro tour, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, agreed. Next. What makes 30 seconds fun is you can break stuff down into things that aren't even linked together. Mutolaga, chains. Lantusi, patala ya kuindu for many years, e bond. Divanisage, James, e bond. James Bond. She's so right. Even myself, when I see a clue that I don't know, I break it down. And I always encourage people, just break it down. Stop trying to be smart. We've only got 30 seconds to get all these clues right. So whatever it takes, do that. If you're gonna look a little bit uh, dense, that's okay. As long as you win. This is about winning. It's a game, okay? Next reply. You played 30 seconds last night and you saw flames. Guys, newspapers are free on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow Discovery Channel, news channels, travel pages, secondhand books are 10 Rand. If you want to follow trends and watch Skim Sam, that's on you. Um, I don't know. I don't agree. I, I don't agree with this one. And I think there was a lot of um, this rhetoric. Where people were like, Google is free. The same uh, data that you use on your phone to be on Twitter, you can use to search stuff. I am not going to be searching Tintin. Okay. The only reason I know who Tintin was because I did not have access to DSTV. Um, I only had SABC 1, 2, and 3. And then at a later stage, it was ETV. That's all we had. Okay. At my big age of 32. I'm not searching who Tintin is, okay? For what? For what reason? It's only going to come up on 30 seconds when somebody wants to embarrass me and ask me, where did you grow up? Why don't you know who Tintin is? The only reason I know Tintin is because I met Camilla, who was obsessed with Tintin, um, in Varsity. Um, so it definitely is exposure and access to other cultures, other languages, um, and just traditions and how people move on this planet. She had access to Tintin stuff as a kid and it was a big thing for her. And a lot of people who went to previously multiracial schools knew exactly who that was. I didn't, but if I hadn't met her and she hadn't told me and I, she didn't, didn't have an obsession of Tintin as a friend, why would I Google that? For what reason? So I have an issue with this kind of thinking because I'm only searching things that I'm interested in. I'm only searching things that I have to, whether it's got to do with school or work or my interests. Or if a girl that I'm chatting to says they're interested in something that I don't know, then I'll go and search it. But Jinjie, if my mom was not into cricket when I was growing up, I wouldn't know who the heck Hashim Angla is or Graham Smith is or whom I'm not into sports. So I won't. Even today, sports, you can ask me about, I don't know, any Nazu Oparawe Pirates from back in the day, but that's because of where I grew up and what I was exposed to. But I can bet you a girl from Kenya doesn't know who Okpara is. She's not interested. Ugo to Begwik, goalkeeper your Pirates, you all the Pirates back in the day. No. Next reply, I played 30 seconds for the first time with very book smart people and I must say I did okay for the first for a first time player. The game tests your general knowledge and your ability to learn every day. I don't think having better access has anything to do with anything. I don't know. Um, I certainly agree with what the first bit of this comment, but the I don't think having better access has anything to do with anything. I don't think it's, I think it absolutely does. Um, a perfect example for me, I grew up in a township, um, went to township schools, but my mom insisted on taking us, well, me, I remember vividly, um, I would have to, Bambi takes it from home, from the Kasi to the city library in town just to read books. And then when she's done with work and land the library, and then we catch a taxi back to the hood. Um, what that did for me was give me access to other kids who have access to things that I don't have because kids are innocent gay. You make friends there by the library. You see somebody who's reading a book that you've read. So then you walk up to them, but because you're a kid, 
I didn't know English. And these kids, some kids go to like the multiracial schools. So they speak English and I just speak is Zulu and my English is not great. But because I want to communicate with them, I learned. I learned how to speak English so I can make friends at the library and not be bored because I didn't want to be there. My mom was forcing me. Um, but that gave me access to people who have different access to other things. And when I went back to the township, I generally couldn't relate to the kids who went to the same schools as me. But being busy English, because I insisted on speaking English so that I can teach myself, so that I can be able to relate to the other kids after school from my school. And also, I mean, it helped, obviously, because I was doing English at school, so it was a double homicide for the good, for my, for my marks. So, yeah, I think access definitely has a lot to do with it. Um, the conversations that those kids are having in those schools in town are not the same conversations that the kids in the township are having. Please don't act dense. You know this is a fact. Come on. Next reply. It's a general knowledge game. Just say you suck at it. It's fine. And someone replied. Someone replied, general knowledge isn't so general to everybody. Keep that in mind. Agreed. If you lack nuance, just say that. Because... General knowledge for a kid who goes to Hilton College is not the same general knowledge for a kid who goes to Mas Masaka and the Secondary. It just isn't, fam. It just isn't, okay? Um, you are there at Masaka and the Secondary. Some people in sex and world don't get lunch at it. <laughs> Whether you are there at Masaka and the Secondary, you're focusing on just your studies and what you're exposed to. I think the person that spoke about access also meant exposure. It's what you're exposed to. Like, guys, it's not that difficult to understand. And as good to why you is honestly, God way you can learn through the game, hey? It's really not that deep. If you're playing with people that don't know what the Leaning Tower of Pisa is, well, we're going to teach them that day. It's school for them. Next time, they will probably win, you know? Ah, it's cute that you say that. Have you played 30 seconds? With well read, well traveled muffles. I think the contrary to this comment is why this lady is saying there's a classism thing that needs to be discussed there. Because people don't teach you. People berate you and people shame you and they make you feel small when you don't know a thing. And you get laughed at and your team loses. And that's a thing that will stick with you for a while. Sure enough, you'll learn about it later, but it's certainly not a, oh, so you didn't know this one? It's here, it's here, it's here. So those, those toenails of Satan, when you're done with the card, they take it and scrutinize it. And they're like, oh, you didn't know this? You should have said this. This is how you could have given this clue. And it's like, you're doing this for what? For what? To show off. To be classes. Oh, okay. Next reply. The secret to winning at 30 seconds is not in knowing a lot of stuff. It's in knowing what stuff your teammates also know. It goes back to what I was saying in the beginning. You have to suss out your teammates. If you can tell your teammates vocabulary ends at audacity, then what are you doing at gumshit? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just suss out your teammates, man. It's that simple. Next reply. 30 seconds works with people you've had any kind of shared experiences with over many years. My husband once said, bomb, see, people died. And I answered Pearl Harbor. That was a bad clue, but I knew what he was talking about because I knew him. You know what? I think that's where we have to end this because she just basically summarized everything. That's all it is. Like I said in the beginning, literally, if you put a husband and a wife in one team, you're doomed for disaster. Separate those two. Separate them. Have them find somebody new so that you can actually test their general knowledge. Jen J, if you partner people who know each other and have shared experiences, girl, please. I could cough three times and someone knows. Oh, COVID Delta. That's the COVID. You know what I mean? Like, hello? Okay. Back to the topic at hand. Next reply. People are, people are deflecting. The chat on this tweet is the players are not the game itself. Classist remarks like, how do you not know one, two, three? Who didn't watch the show growing up and all that because they had access to such shows growing up. Such remarks are the problem. Agreed. Okay. Because the rest of these tweets now are just like, 
people's opinions when the game what the game's about but truly the initial tweet was about the classism that ensues while playing this game and we've already agreed with that but people are really deflected talking about oh no 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 it's a general knowledge you have data google stuff what am i googling what am i googling if you're not interested in trans issues i went on a deep dive last week and someone commented and, and they were like so this is are you an encyclopedia? How do you know all these things? And I'm like, it's because I have an interest. It doesn't make the other person dumb. It doesn't make the other person ill-informed. They're probably informed a lot about whatever they're, whatever field they're in, but just not on specific things. Next reply. Yo, I will never forget the day we played with my sister's colleagues and the card had Mother Teresa. And the person reading the card said, this person was a virgin. And someone said, Kelukuman. You see what I'm saying? Because... That's general knowledge to them. Kelukumalo was a virgin. She was a virgin. She was proud of it. Numzambata also. That's what they know. I had to step back for my privilege to understand this one. What is deemed as everyday knowledge or general knowledge is not that. Your access to resources, your surroundings, your connections play a part in it. I like this argument. I have never thought of it like that. Oh, I like that. It's true. I've, it's what I've been saying this whole time. Next reply. It's just a game. There's no need for a chat about anything. You are not obligated to play. Not everything is classes. Who said anything about obligations? It's a group of people in a social setting and we're playing a game. And if you want to play, you should play. You shouldn't be left out just because you didn't go to St. John's. This is exactly, you're proving exactly the point of this original tweet. That is classes. I can't play because I don't know characters from Taken 5, PlayStation 3. Come on. Come on. Last two replies. Access to what? I watch movies, listen to music, read magazines and books, research about pop culture. All these things are at your disposal. If your partner can't simplify the names for you, as geez. Okay. Um, Gimba Kambili about this comment. I do agree with that. If your partner can't simplify things for you, then yeah, sorry. However, the thing of like access to what I watch movies, I listen to music, read magazines. Which movies are you watching? Because I like epic films and I know a lot of people who couldn't even stand one episode of Game of Thrones. So therefore they will not know who Tyrion is, okay? But they still watch movies. It's just not the same movies as you. Um, I read magazines. Which magazines? I don't read Forbes. I, I don't know who was in the cover of Forbes magazine two months ago. I don't. Someone replied, not everyone has access to those things, TVs and magazines. And with certain backgrounds, unless you make an extra effort to learn certain things, they won't fall onto your lap. Absolutely, 100% agree. Sure, there are exceptions to every rule, but a privileged background definitely puts you at an advantage. Claire, I think that's it. This is the chat, okay, from 30 seconds. 30 seconds, you did a thing today. Sponsor me, uh, sponsor Twitter. I don't know. It was fun. It was really fun. Someone said, yo, guys, you guys are bickering about 30 seconds. You're sober. It's because the country's alcohol has been banned once again. We are traumatized, and now we are bickering about board games on Twitter. It's cute. It's fun. I love it for us. Um, it's less dramatic. The country is going through so much. Jacob Zuma being arrested at midnight last night um, to call me house being <laughs> arrested on TV. <laughs> so um, I enjoyed it. This was a random video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are. To the original tweet. Let's continue the conversation here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.